colleagues, I certainly didn't wake up this morning thinking I was going to be up here at the podium, but nonetheless, here I am. Um, the amendment before you earlier had a vote like this. It had 25 Republicans vote in favor of it. And then there were 75 others that voted against it. Included in that were a handful of Republicans, but were a lot of Democrats. And we're up here today, and we're up here every day, we're supposed to be representing the will of our constituents. And I hope each and every one of y'all have talked to your constituents on this. I know I have. Frankly, I was surprised by the results. Um, overwhelmingly, my constituents want to include rape and incest. And that comes from people, whether they're on the spectrum of the Trump Republican, this Republican, moderate, independent, liberal, whatever Democrat, overwhelmingly, they wanted that. And as my good friend Gilda Cobb, when she comes to this podium and she talks about who she's talking to, and a lot of times it's talking to the people out there and not the people in here, I'm going to tell you who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to Republicans, okay? Do you think the Democrats really want women and children that have been raped or sexually assaulted by family members to have those babies? No. Y'all know that. But that's how they voted. Okay, we got, we got chess going on right now. Some peoples are playing checkers, and some don't even know what game's going on, okay? So let me tell you what's at stake right now. We come up here a lot of times, and we can have it our way or try to have it our way, or we can work with others and try to come up with something that could be better for the state of South Carolina. So a couple years ago, we passed the feudal heartbeat bill. You saw a lot of awards, endorsements, and everything went out. Everybody was talking about how historic that was, and everybody was high-fiving, and a lot of people got endorsed and things like that. Well, guess what? That bill has stayed right now. I'm not an attorney, but my understanding is the default means our state, we don't have that bill in place, so we go back to Roe v. Wade, and therefore, we've lost everything that many of us fought for earlier, okay? Well, keep that in mind. Because if we try to go all or nothing right now on this bill, we're going to end up with nothing. And I think a lot of people have worked too hard on it. So think about this. The Democrats don't want the bill to pass at all. So now we got to ask ourselves, what are we going to do? Are we going to try to move the ball forward? Or are we going to say it's my way or the highway and I'm going to be an ideologue and this is where I'm sticking? You can vote however you want to vote. Hopefully you're voting for your constituents, but I firmly believe just as many of the people that have taken the podium speaking on the other side today, now when I say other side, I'm talking about the other side of me on this particular amendment, they voted for the fetal heartbeat bill. They voted for exceptions. You heard one of my colleagues, that was good enough two years ago. Is it not pure enough now? All of a sudden, do we not like babies? Are we not protecting life? No, we're trying to make it better. We're taking the fetal heartbeat bill and if you're a Republican, it's the fetal heartbeat bill, but instead of the six-week provision except for rape and incest, there's no weeks provision. So you can tell your constituents you did more. And if you're with me on the exception side, you get to vote on something that can protect 98% of what we need in South Carolina. Because I got a lot of people that I've talked to, whether they're constituents in your area, my constituents, or colleagues here, that are probably going to have a hard time voting on a bill that has no exceptions. And y'all know why? And the Democrats know this. We send a bill over to the Senate that has no exceptions, it ain't coming back. They're not going to pass it. They've heard the same stuff we've heard. So I simply ask you, a lot of us want to protect life. Do what you think is best for your constituents, yourself, your God, whatever you think. But today you have an opportunity that can improve on what we did. Or stick to your guns and walk out of here with nothing. And who really wins in that situation? Thank you.